Hey everyone, Soundway84 here. New York City Comic Con 2018 is upon us, and Hasbro is unleashing the Transformers Decepticons from the Siege Line. The War for Cybertron Trilogy. And we got some Omega Supreme teases, and I already knew he's going to be coming out as a Titan class. But first up, some official images of Refractor, aka Reflector. Now he just transforms into a laser cannon. But you can, you see the pegs on the side, you can combine this figure to form his original G1 camera mode. We just had to purchase two extra refractors. Now I guess they're going to be legend size. I don't know, they do have some ankle tilt and a little bit more articulation. Now, it's hard to tell some of the scale by the pictures that have come out so far. But I'm going to go, he's probably a legend, like a, a bigger legend scale, scale figure. There's the other two. As you see, the little camera lens it looks like to, looks to be removable from the figure. Up next, a deluxe class Brunt. He'll go perfect with your Titan class Trypticon. You can see some of the MicroMaster size Transformers down below there. You can see flywheels in the background. And here he is in his cannon mode. Now we don't know if this can actually attach a Trypticon or it's something you just set next to him or on him. And here's Flywheels, and he comes looks to come with some accessories that make it look like he is firing his weapon. I noticed that on a few of these figures in this line. Now, he looks to be more classical style of just the like it's more simple combined mode than Battletrap gave us. He looks to be a little bit easier to manipulate here. And here's an official image of Starscream. I'm guessing he's probably deluxe class. I, I do like the look of the figure. And he's not blowing me away by any means. Uh, I do like the Tetrajet design. And then you get a little back image here. And I do like how he does seem to fold up quite nicely. Now it does seem to be that Hasbro is putting more uh, effort into these figures transformation wise. I want to say even plastic wise. There are less hollow bits on these figures than I've noticed in previous lines. And here is Soundwave. I'm going, he's probably Deluxe. Could be Voyager. To make the cassette feature work. His alt mode is just like a flying boat. Or a spaceship. Not very impressive. But he can pull off the light post. As you see, they used him. And spray painted him into their little set. And he does have his cassettes. Here is Ravage. And his cassette mode, you see it's pegged onto Flywheels' arm. And here is Laserbeak, very Cybertronian from the More Than Meets the Eye opening part, the first cartoon episode. Here he is with Laserbeak inside his chest, and showing off his feature of G1. You hit the button, pops it open, take the figure out. And here is Leader Class Shockwave, who seems to be a Voyager Class figure that has armor. Here he is on his surfboard, surfing in the USA, transforms into a spaceship, and wearing his armor. To look like a menacing octopus. Really loving the detail on these figures. They seem to be going the extra mile on these. Megatron, another one that actually surprised me. He looks like a good combination of the Combiner Wars Megatron with a G1 style Megatron or a War Within style Megatron. Really do like the robot mode and like the vehicle mode. He is Voyager class to match with Optimus Prime, of course. Now, like I said, they go into extra detail. I really don't like the, uh, what's it, battle damage or what the, whatever that is they have on them. That's not, it doesn't really appeal to me. I'd rather have a more clean figure. And if somebody wanted battle damage, they could customize it themselves. And here is the biggie, the tease for Omega Supreme. Here is the tank mode, and it is unmistakably Omega. Now, we knew he'd probably be coming once they had the vote for a Titan class, which I believe Trypticon won. I knew they would eventually make an Omega Supreme, and I can't wait to have this actually scale with my Combiner Wars Devastator. And here's Optimus Prime and Megatron side by side. And showing off the scale of these that come in line, uh, Deluxe figures are around 5 to 6 inches, Voyagers are 7 inches, and Leader class are now smaller. Ultra Magnus would be 8 inches, whereas current Leader class figures are about 9.5 inches. And here's some extra Cyberverse toys coming out. I actually do like that Wheeljack down there. And you notice the Hot Rod comes with his saw blade. Now for the contest to win the $25 Amazon gift card, here are the ways to win. Number one, you have to be a subscriber. Number two, 
must like this video. And number three, leave a comment down below. And this will be open through October 10th. On October 11th, the winner will be chosen and notified and announced in an upcoming video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until the next one, peace out.